Hi everyone, welcome back to Crochet Rocks. Tracy here. And my little yarn quest um, that I did just after my Hobby Craft one, not to be confused with Hobby Rocks, that's me. Hobby Craft is a bricks and mortar shop. And I just been and bought some yarn to show you. And now I have this one, which is from a shop called The Range. So, <coughs> Just popped in there on the off chance, really. I'm sorry if I keep coughing. I'm just getting over a bit of a horrible virus and um, taking its time. Anyway, lighting here is a bit weird today. I don't know why. But one thing that they did have in the range, which I was really happy about, was one of these. And this is a gigantic notebook. Um, so these size notebooks that are ruled, I tend to use these. <clears throat> for my order books and normally I can just find ones that are about this thin this is a good one this is a, a big one usually they're thinner or sometimes they've got <coughs> excuse me they've got hardbacks but um that one um that's a cool one I'm glad I found that and it wasn't too expensive either I'll have a look at the I've got the um call it a bill but you know what I mean I've got the receipt that's the word keep calling it a bill but I've got the receipt right here so I can tell you exactly sorry Joan oh, did you see that Joan abuse I just bashed her um yeah so I can tell you exactly how much it all hang to excuse the rustling hang on a minute I've got another receipt I think one of them is Gary's receipt to be honest with you I'll keep that bag because then I can put it straight into it. More rustling. I don't know. Home of the Russell. So which is this one? That's the range. And oh, so is that. <clears throat> I think this one must be Gary's because it's got very little on it. We'll put that aside and we'll come to this as we go or at the end. Okay. So I think I definitely need my specs this morning. There you all are. And a bit of a light on the subject. I might be able to see this now. Okay, that's a good idea, isn't it? I definitely can. <coughs> the bag cost me 45p. Disgusting. Oh, actually, re I got 20p off my bag, so it didn't. It cost me 25p. Woohoo. Um, that's yarn, 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 yarn. Where's the book then? Maybe I did. Would it have been on here? Uh, oh, yeah, diary, diary. Oh, no, that's all Gary's. That's all Gary's. Where's my book? That's weird, isn't it? Can't find it. <coughs> uh, A4, there we go, that's it. It was three ninety nine, so it's not a bad price for a big, thick book. Not that you care. But anyway, let's get on with showing the yarn. Now, a little while ago, I went to the range and I bought some of this yarn and I decided to add to it because they never have much on the shelves. Um, I understand, though, that dye lots might change, but it's variegated, so it doesn't really matter in that respect. Um, and sometimes, obviously... There was one situation I had with a variegated yarn that I got in Poundland and they didn't have enough and I got another one and I was making a bag <clears throat> and halfway through the bag it went from a very kind of subtle pale variegated, it was the oatmeal one and then all of a sudden it was a bright oatmeal so it did matter but with this I don't think it does, it all looks the same to me and that's this one. I really like this yarn. I know it's um, an ombre. It is called Divanti Finest Collection Pink Marble Yarn. It's weird, isn't it? Because these people who get yarns for stores like this, they call ombre, which isn't ombre, a marble, an ombre. They call an ombre marble. Although it is marbled, I guess. It's not, it's ombre, isn't it? They have no idea. They ought to get someone who actually does this craft <laughs> to buy and to... 
Well, yeah, they'd have so much better ranges, wouldn't they, if they did that? Anyway, always makes me chuckle this bit. Great for beginners and experienced knitters. Everyone, or only knitters though, but obviously crocheters as well. Strong, holds its shape and soft. Needle four millimeters, so obviously hook the same, roughly. Uh, length is two four five meters. Now this has got a price on it of two forty nine, so um, I can't imagine that this would be wrong. Two forty nine. There we go. Yeah, it's only like a little price. You can pick it off. It's not necessarily, um, you know, on the printed on there or anything. So this is 90% acrylic and 10% nylon. Um, <clears throat> warning for adult crafting. Keep out the reach of children under three. 100 grams. Warning. Never had a warning like that appear on yarn before. You know that, unfortunately, when you see something like that, it means that somebody has misused the yarn. Aged under three. Anyway, I guess, depends what you, you know, can unravel it and it can become dangerous. Well, I got one, two, three, four, five. And I love these shades. I think it's beautiful, this yarn. It's really, really nice. The first time I ever got this yarn was in, I did a little thing where I gave Gary a budget. And he had to go out and buy yarn for me and he came back with it. So likewise, there's a few different colours in this yarn. And I like to add to them as I can because, as I say, they don't have much. It's one of those um, stores, the range. If, <clears throat> I know if you're in the UK and you've been in a range, you know. But um, for those of you who live outside of the UK, the range is one of those shops where you go and you can buy paint to paint the fence or the, the house or the inside you can buy pick and mix sweets candies you can buy crafting equipment halloween stuff christmas stuff um furniture gardens furniture um there is so much under one roof you know it's one of those stores where they sell everything not necessarily all crafting stuff but just everything clocks picture frames everything um, it's one of those so consequently they have yarn they have a nice amount of yarn sometimes they used to do Peyton's yarn they used to do Bernat and all sorts now they just tend to do Devante which is their own brand or branded for them but um, because they have such a vast sort of um What's the word I'm looking for? <clears throat> Amount of things in the store, you know. Inventory. Because they have such a vast amount of stuff, they don't really have a lot of of anything. So, um, yeah. Gary bought stickers, you know, and stuff for, for grandchildren. So, yeah, you can buy anything in there, but consequently, you can only get what's on the shelf. Now, last time I went, or the time before, they're them big, big balls of chenille. And I had about two of those this time. But what they did have was quite a few things that I've not had. So I didn't buy them all, obviously. Now, some of the yarn that I felt, they had some um, solid colours. And they were pretty good colours. They had a really nice vivid purple, a vivid red, um, and a very nice vivid teal. But when I picked them up and squished them... Although it said they were acrylic, they felt rough. They had a bit of a, a slight edge to them, a slight rough edge, which might have washed out. But one thing I did notice, the strand, it said it was a 3DK and it was very, very thin. So to me, it was more of a four ply uh, or a sport weight yarn. So I didn't buy any of those because I didn't really feel that they were good enough value for money they they weren't dear they were 199 but i mean i can you know i sell stylecraft yarn in my shop and um king cole yarn in my shop that is just a little bit around that that price or a little bit more 
<clears throat> I'd rather pay for that extra bit of quality. So I didn't get any of that. But I did get some more of this one, which is another one in that range that I just showed you. Now this one, I would say more marbled. You can see the marbling where you've got like that kind of vivid colour strand with the teal strand. Yeah, that's more marbled uh, than ombre, but it's still probably um, quite ombre the way that those colours will run into each other. So this one's just, that was pink multi. This one's blue multi. And I like this one a lot. So I took the opportunity to add to my stash. Look at those lovely colours in there. Really, really like this one. <clears throat> so I got one. I won't put it in the bag. One, two, three, four of those. Beautiful. I really, really like that one. So yeah, I want to add to that. Uh, and you never know, I might have something enough to make something nice and big one day. So that was £2.50 because it was the same as the other one. Was it £2.49? £2.49, I think. It's only a penny. So, you know, let's not um, let's not get bent out of shape over that. The weirdest thing, <coughs> every bit of yarn. Oh, no, there are some that are different price. So that brings me to this. Now. If you watched me in the US, I was looking for some cottons that I can make a project with. And I wanted it to be quite sturdy so it would hold a bit of shape. Uh, the ones I bought, which I've only got this little bit to show you, really squishy. Even though it was a peaches and cream, which um, I've heard was rough and a bit sturdy. Which is what I wanted it to be, um, but it wasn't. It's quite soft and willowy, that one. But this is the Devante Robin's Egg Cotton Yarn. And I think these are two ninety nine, And this was a beautiful kind of teal colour. And I've been looking for a teal. Now, this is what I've been making. So I could put this with it. That's, that's probably um, a good colour to match with it. So obviously, I didn't want lots of this. Just a good, just as well because I didn't have a lot, but I managed to get two balls of this yarn boobies. A bit of a weird shape. Hang on, that's better. No, hang on, kind of a squashed one. Yarn boobies. <laughs> Sorry, I know I'm a child. I can't help it. In my defence. Okay, so that is the cotton Robin's egg two ninety nine. Let me tell you a bit about Robin's egg. Um, it's not the when I say I wanted it sturdy and a bit sort of, not rough, but sturdy, it is a little sturdier than that, but it's not rough. You could wear this. You wouldn't You wouldn't think, oh, get off. You know, I don't like it. You wouldn't think that. This is called Devante Finest Collection. Robin's Egg Cotton Yarn, 100% cotton. Strong, holds its shape and soft. I'd go along with that. I just said all that, didn't I? Um, <clears throat> saying you want a five and a half needle or hook, I can't tell you hook, but, and the length is 155 metres. And as I said, 100% cotton, it's 100 grams. So that's basically all you need to know, but it's really nice. It's quite, quite soft. Um, and I've got one blue, which is denim ombre. And I'm sorry, but it's not ombre it's just stripey see what i mean about these companies they ought to employ someone who actually knows about yarn they only had one of those they only had one last time now this one's different though and i got four of these and they are called moon dance yarn boobies moon dance look at that it's got all different colors in it. it's got teal so if i wanted to i could put those two together it would pick out that teal but it has purple and teal and gray and a kind of an ecru color that one there sort of ecru but i kind of like this it's moon dance it's the same cotton yarn 100 percent cotton it feels the same but it, it's not hard. i mean don't get me wrong but it's stuck it's not hard you would wear it but it is sturdier for sure. Um, I don't think there's anything else to tell you. <clears throat> 2 
Um, no, there was other yarns, as I said. They had that... Um, I like this one a lot. Look at those colours. It's unusual to find those colours together, I think. So I've got four of those. One, two, three, four. Uh, enough to do another one of my little projects, should I want to. And a face explodes, just for... And giggles. Anyway, where was I? I can't remember what I was going to say now. My face exploded and it kind of um, threw me off. So if you're new to my channel, what do I mean by my face exploded? That. That was to Joan. This is Joan, guys. Well, she's not looking at the camera. You can't get the glamorous assistance these days, can you? Anyway, <clears throat> that's my little yarn haul. Yarn unboxing, yarn unbagging from the range so if you have uh, not been to the range and you get the opportunity you might find some decent yarn that's what i was saying they did have other yarn as well they had some chunky just like i said they had the vivid colors and everything in the dk which was a bit too thin to be really a dk um they had a chunky yarn um they didn't have many colors and what they did have was more of a dusky kind of color scheme I didn't get it. it didn't float my boat really it didn't grab my attention um but that was all that was really all they had and now they did have a couple of kits but they were not that great um and they didn't have much in the way of utensils <laughs> or other kind of accoutrements of knitting or crochet so that was what i got and i like it though i must admit um, I've been a bit more discerning of late, whereas I used to just go and buy all the yarn to show you. Um, <clears throat> I'm only buying what I really like now. Um, I could have bought the other colours and I could have bought the, the chunky, but I didn't like the yarn. And um, after all, I must be kind of stuck with it. So what do I do with all my yarn? Um, I've, I've often got asked this. Now, I do have a shop, hobbyrocks.co.uk. And in that shop, I do kind of um, do a few things with these sort of yarns. Sometimes I'll keep it for a project, but if I don't need to keep it and, you know, I don't know what to do with it, sometimes I put it in mystery boxes. Sometimes I just put an extra ball in people's orders that just say, well, you know, there, I'll shove that in there. So because in people's orders, I always put a few little goodies um, and I try sometimes to put a few balls of yarn in and things like that. Um, but I, and then there's giveaways. So I always have plenty to do with the yarn that I might not need and use. So that's, that's it. That's my, um, little order from the range. I didn't go crazy because I did not really, um, have the, the, the amount on the shelf to go crazy with. So yeah, but I do, I will say this, that as far as the cheaper shops go, so the prices, they're not bad, but like I say, you can you can be a bit seduced by those prices. And then when you look at hobbyrocks.co.uk, you can find yarn that is uh, branded and often softer or nicer or whatever um, for around these prices. So <clears throat> if you can't get to shop online, maybe if you're elderly or um, I don't, maybe not, well, unless you can drive. It's not one of those stores that's just on the high street. Some people have ranges on the high streets. I remember, where was I? I think it was Tunbridge. They had one, I think. Um, I used to have a job where I was an area manager, so I used to go out and say, oh, they've got a range just up the road. I'll pop in, you know, that sort of thing. Um, but the yarn is far superior to other shops like maybe Poundland. Never thought I'd say that, really, because Poundland yarn used to be really, really good. It still is. They still have those yarns, but they've brought in a cheaper range that um, I won't touch it. it. It feels like the stuff that you get free in a magazine, you know, that spongy kind of amigurumi yarn they give away. That's what it feels like. And so these kind of shops have surpassed um, those Poundland B&M um, <clears throat> home bargains type shops now. The yarn that you get here is better, I would say, and kind of more crafting. 
I don't, does that make any sense? Um, you can, they, you know, they've got more, more crafty kind of yarn. But at the end of the day, it's not a yarn shop, so you won't get, you won't get the quantity. Um, I mean, obviously, yarn shops, yarn online stores, sometimes they run out and get low of certain of certain yarns but they never have a lot of anything so you know it's hard to and you know you've got to watch dye lots sometimes with making stuff so if you see it and it's there it's the sort of thing grab it now because you might not get it again <clears throat> anyway thank you for watching um i hope you liked it let me know what you did like and um what you thought of those prices and the yarns and i will see you guys on the next one take care bye for now